Hello Scorpios, welcome back to iEnigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your journal reading for Feb 2024. Let's see what are the messages and what's going to happen in Feb and March of 2024. Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and what does not resonate. For personal reads, white spells and premium crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. All the details are given down below in the description box. Scorpio, I have my main channel, iEnigma, where you can check out all the other signs plus Scorpio reads. And my Hindi channel, don't forget to subscribe to all my channels and stay connected with me for more stuff. I'm going to see your messages right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, and Mercury, Sun, Scorpio plus Cross Watchers. Okay. I don't take reversals because I can get the messages. We have enough uh, negative cards in the deck, so. <coughs> All right. Right now you're in this energy of, I'm not able to forget the past. I'm not able to forget the past. I'm not able to forget this person did this to me, did that to me. Someone walked away from you. You walked away from that person. You're still in this energy of why I need answers. Why did they do this to me? Where? You're still focusing on the negative side of your love life. You don't know what's coming in. Someone that is coming towards you has a huge crush on you or will have a huge crush on you. Either you're going to meet this person uh, within a few weeks or you have met this person. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Aries, most probable signs. I'm seeing that there's someone that is having a crush on you and they could be more mature. Like you're more childish. According to this person, you're like more of free soul going freely not bothered about a thing in the world and they're more like serious kind of a person or there could be an age difference for some of you but this person is someone that wants to be your caretaker is coming towards you right down the comment section i embrace this new love energy there's someone that will have a huge crush on they love the way you're so like out there and you know lively and beautiful like you you seem to catch this person's um attention because of your innocence that is something there so i feel like initially this person is being he hesitant to come towards you because you will see shyness on their face whenever you're around you'll see them getting nervous or they just are very good in hiding their nervousness but there is a lot of nervousness that is why they're taking their time i feel they think that they've made a decision that you are the person for them they've already made a decision now they need to know whether are you also thinking on the same lines or they have to convince or they have to impress you or they have to wait for your yes or your decision so they right now have made up their mind that you're the person that they see a future with and they want this they visualize marriage with you they visualize commitment with you they visualize a relationship with you they visualize a 10 on 10 commitment with you a long-term kids and everything with you you want that but you are that person that will take your time because I feel like this person thinks that they have to um, enforce things. They have to somewhere uh, be more, you know, pushy about things. They have to be a little more aggressive because you're a challenge. For this person, they think that you might not be interested because your focus seems to be more at your work. You look or appear to be very busy and intimidating at the same time. Also because this person is not able to guess what is going on in your head. So considering all of these things, I feel like this person is someone that feels like uh, it will be a big challenge. And they have to, you know, come towards you a little like with force. So this is what they're thinking about. But they've made up their mind that they're going to marry you or you're the person of their dreams or they will. Okay, so this is something that I'm seeing. Let's see something through tarot. <clears throat> oracle I mean they're sensitive and you seem to be more logical I feel the fact that you are a little closed off is because you want fairness being a Scorpio want 100% loyalty okay until that you won't show your sensitive side community this person is somewhere near you they know you they've seen you or this is someone that you will meet through the circle where you get involved and more more strongly like your social setup your circle that's how you'll be meeting this person somehow this person knows your family or your family is going to like them a lot they will mix up really well with your family false person now what is this judication 
and then we're having the bad health. Someone what might gaslight your family against this person. Someone that lives near your home, someone that is your relative, is going to gaslight this um, uh, against this person, your, your family members against this person. So maybe you're that person that listens to your family and friends, okay? I feel like there is someone um, in your circle, in your uh, relatives, in your neighborhood that will not be happy to hear that you're about to get married to this person and will gaslight someone that you're very close to and you listen to a lot so that you deny marrying this person, something on those lines. Like this can be for some of you, not all, but I'm seeing that there's someone that is having evil energies, evil eye on you. And that is one of the reasons why things are getting delayed in your love life. Okay, but take it easy. I'm gonna tell you the solution as well. Let your friends help you. Engagement. This person is uh, someone that your friend is going to introduce you to. This is someone one or two this is someone that your friend one of your good friends is going to tell you like go for this person they're very good you should go for them that kind of energy like there's there's a someone in your friend circle that's going to give you the right kind of advice or they're going to introduce you to this person and that's how you guys will you know get engaged with each other there's a possibility of you getting introduced to this person through a friend that cares about you Keep an open mind, they might be coming from a very different background, maybe they come from a more reserved background, or it's just that there's an age difference, or they have a very different upbringing. But whatever it is, this person is very good, okay? They want to commit to you, they're sensitive, they're emotional, they can do anything for you. It's just that someone is either gaslighting you or the one that you trust and you're taking advice from. Someone may be jealous that you found this person and may create uh, problems between you guys. Ask for help from others. I feel like your friends are going to be your support system. Other than this one particular person that has an evil eye, all the other people in your life are friendly, supportive, and are going to protect this connection and take it forward. So keep asking for help. You don't have to deny Yes, it's a yes. This is a person you're going to say yes to. And you will have a lot of um, support from your family and friends for this relationship, for this connection. So keep an open mind. Trust is the key here. And because of them encouraging you to take this decision, you will say yes. You might seek an advice from someone like your family, your friend, your counselor. So they will tell you, they will give you a green signal. Okay, but there will be that one false person you have to be careful of. Any channeled message, please. I lost myself for a little while. I bury myself in the work to forget. You are trying to forget someone. You have done a lot to forget someone. It was so hard. And now I feel in this month of especially March, you're going to completely forget that person that you have been obsessing over because you try to distract yourself by burying yourself into work and it worked out. Write down the comment section. I'm ready for this new start and I'm very happy. What you don't see is infinite abundance. Oh, I can smell fragrance. You smell good. I'm smelling like a fragrance or a perfume, which means that there's an angel around me. Okay. Anyway, infinite abundance. I'm definitely seeing you're going to seek a lot of abundance. I'm seeing family blessings, friends getting together, blissful wedding, your person being your one and only, your, your divine life partner making good money, having a good impact in the society, getting fame, recognition, everything is coming to you, which means that you have it all. You can see this lady is so happy to embrace all the things in her life, of different types of fruits. There are angel wings. I feel like there's an angel here that is sending you messages through me today. I can sense it today, unlike before. Write down the comment section, say, um, I'm blessed with spiritual beings. It includes God as well. 
and their pride. You're going to feel super proud to have this relationship or this connection going on. Yes, the people who are jealous will remain jealous anyway. Adversity. There will be challenges. Some people will throw at you. Surrender because universe will protect you. Angels will guide you. And your ego will not be affected or shattered. Poised. There's a side of you that's going to come out in the open and make you feel like, make you feel extremely poised. I feel like a lot of people will see that side of you where you are so relaxed, comfortable, looking your best, looking your good. You can feel your chakras, you can feel your emotions, you can express them fully. You will be poised. Okay, you will feel feminine. That means you're not in this energy of trying to be. You're just here. You're in this energy of being. Okay, write down the comment section. I am complete. So no more confused, just feeling free, feeling happy, feeling in the current energy, current moment. Write down the comment section. I'm in the current moment. I'm making best of my time right now. Okay. Someone is 48 here, still very good looking and poised, attractive, and hot and sexy. A thinking woman. All right. Caring connection. Yes, we got the queen of swords and the thinking women. You guys don't have to think too much. You know, I know you, you, you have this clear cut feeling that you want someone that cares for you, that hugs you, that protects you, that helps you, that cares for you. You want that mainly. And that change is something that you're seeking desperately. Okay. So surrender, it is going to come and you will feel proud of this connection and with a lot of abundance. So overthinking is not the way, but I'm definitely seeing that you don't have to think this connection will happen naturally and the most beautiful sense. born with the it quality you have it all you guys are diamonds so i feel like this person you know your own quality it's time for you to not be too shy and scared of you know showing your best foot forward it's time for you to showcase your skills your talents because you will be appreciated you don't you know you don't realize your own worth you're way more than what you think of yourself you're born with that X factor, that it quality. Right down the comment section, I have X factor. So you're very different. Okay. You have to not sabotage that quality in you. You have to showcase that. Advice for you, please. Deep emotional healing. So nothing. I'm seeing only healing is taking place and you're ready to heal your heart. And you're becoming more... Um, at peace and i'm seeing you're taking good care of yourself that is very important for deep emotional healing you have to spend some time or take some time out for self-care that's very important okay scorpio yes this is a time for you to heal that's a confirmation so take as much ample rest as you can okay take good care of your diet your sleep your hobbies your activities that make you happy, that make you shield. Okay, I feel like you're going through a healing phase right now. So don't do anything heavy or that's something that stresses you out a lot. Don't indulge into those kind of things. All right. You're trying too hard. Give some time. Yes, relax. There is a need for you to just relax so that you can focus on your healing, emotional healing. That is must. Okay. Let me see what else do we have for you, Scorpio. So right on the comment section, I'm going through deep healing and I'm happy where I am. I'm patient. I'm in the present moment. I am B. B, B, E. Okay. I am in 
the being, current state of being. I'm in the present. I'm in the current moment. Nine of Wands. This person is passionately coming towards you to express how much they are attracted towards you, to give you the compliments of the lifetime, to make you feel like you're just, you're the only one that they've known and there's no one like you that they can even think of. You're that person that they value, they are proud to show off and they put you on a pedestal, okay? This person has been heavily thinking about you. They have been feeling lonely yeah they have been feeling lonely i feel like you come into their life to change to change their life you're going to make them more you know adventurous because they're more of a workaholic or lone wolf living their life on their own terms but yes they will make some changes when you come into their life so i'm seeing a life-changing experience coming into your life as well i'm seeing a lot of money coming in i'm seeing success at the highest and your person is your soulmate because king and queen of pentacles you guys initially are going to embrace each other's qualities and then come to each other like perfect match you guys will be on the same page when you guys meet you guys won't be on the same page but when you guys get along with each other spend time together you guys will reach on the same page, same page and you guys will be like two high vibrational souls okay getting together this is what i'm seeing so they're a perfect fit i'm seeing you guys together are going to become extremely abundant a lot of money will come to you a lot of success will come to you okay that's what i'm seeing this person is rich that's a sure loving sensitive rich but when you come into their life, you guys together are going to make a lot of money together. Patience is the key. Yes, I feel like you have recently gone through an ending and you are working on your transformation. You're working on major transformation in your life. So give yourself ample rest. You need to take a lot of rest before you have a new beginning with someone coming into your life. Okay. Let's do the charms. Guys, traveling is must, as I've been always telling you. For you, it's like your, you know, it opens your, like, heart. Yes, arts, I feel you're indulging into arts, and it's very exciting for you. Some of you are indulging into spirituality, again, very exciting for you. Some of you are traveling a lot, exciting. There's a fire in your soul, you, go, you guys may date. Uh, a fire sign but i feel like the summertime is going to be extremely auspicious for you overall you will see a lot of synchronicities feathers repeating numbers telling you that you have angels around you protecting you guys think big you guys are going to travel to another country probably america paris france yeah someone's from iran russia nigeria Argentina, USA, Canada, Australia, India, Norway, Pakistan, Rome, Israel, yeah, someone from like non-reliable Indian watching this, like NRI watching this, NRIs, who have just shifted from India to other countries. I'm seeing strong female energy over here watching this. Maximum feminine. Even if you're a male watching this, most of you are feminine in, in this energy of I want to do things for myself. I'm done with the other people. So I'm seeing you are like very flexible with the changes, but there's a lot of growth in all the areas of your life here. Recognition alongside. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing long distance. Either your person is from long distance or you want to travel to another country. Maybe you have to just travel. 
uh, N Nadira, someone's name. Okay, anyway, I'm seeing N, R, and I are in your name or in your person's name. That's another hint. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read. Thank you for your time, Scorpio. Please do like, share, uh, comment, and subscribe to our Enigma Scorpio channel. I'll see you back again.